Hey everyone, Christian here, and I'm going to do a little video on, um, well, it's, I guess you could call it an update, but this is more showing everyone what uh, Sabinaria Magnifica looks like as a one-leafer. And I'm going to show you this closest relative uh, afterwards. So, these I purchased and received in late July, early August in two shipments. So, uh, now it is, you know, 3rd of February, and they are putting out their first leaf. Now, that seems like a long time, but they put out a pretty deep root, and the remote germinators, they always take a little bit longer. So you can see here, this prominent mid-ribbing. You turn it around, you can see the silver underside, and they're in very deep containers. My friends were very nice to repot these for me when I wasn't around, and there's probably about a dozen left, and uh, I'm just gonna keep on growing them and see how they go. Um, so a lot of times you can learn a lot about a palm by a, a new palm and its cold hardiness and its, it, its ability to take on certain things by knowing a lot about its relatives. So, um, for example, when Tahina came out, uh, its closest relative is actually Caryodoxa, which is a cold hardy, uh, palm, relatively speaking. It's a, you know, zone 9A palm and, uh, it had a lot of tolerances. So therefore Tahina was actually not a hard palm to grow. And uh, as a result, we, you know, able to grow it in areas that previously were thought to not be able to grow that species. So with Sabinaria's closest relative, oh, thanks for turning that fan on. I figured that'd help. <laughs> yeah, people can probably hear me now. And uh, but with Sabinaria's closest relative is actually Cryosophila, which is right here, and you can see it actually has a similar leaf structure, and the very silver undersides going on right here. So this is also a great palm that, oh, here's some more silver from the emerging leaflet. And <clears throat> it actually, cryosophila actually means cold loving. And uh, it doesn't love a ton of cold, but it's definitely a zone nine palm. And uh, hopefully Sabinari will also be a cold hardy uh, plant as well. So uh, time will tell. I don't think a lot of people are willing to take a expensive plant out into the cold just to find out that it's not cold hardy so maybe i'll do a little experiment uh this winter maybe next winter so um but anyway i just want to give a little update on those and i figured you guys would enjoy watching that uh you, you can see there's a plethora of other palms hopefully i can do some vlogs on these um we're running out of light here and i don't and i want to spend a little bit of time here doing some stuff so Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification because I do go live quite a bit. If you guys have any questions about uh, Sabinaria or Chrysophila, then uh, leave it down below and I'll try and get back to everyone as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.